first things first to access the channel rack just click on this icon here or you can use the shortcut key which is f6 now to add an instrument from the browser just right click on the sample you want and then select open in new channel or you can just simply drag it from the browser onto any empty channel to add a plugin just click on the plus button here and then choose the plugin you want to use this plugin just right click on it and then select open in piano row to organize and customize the channel rack, just go to the channel options menu. Here you can color, delete, rename, clone or add an instance of an instrument or a sample. Next to it we have the looping controls and then next to that we have the display filter. The display filter is used to set and organize the channel rack to display only specific channels. So as your project grows, it is important to keep your channel rack organized especially when you have a very big project. Here we have the play and the pause and then all the way here we have the global swing button. So the global swing button is used to add swing to all the channels and then next to it we have the pattern length. So the pattern Pattern length is used to set the length of the pattern so I just leave this at auto so the pattern will be set by the end of the last bar with data in it. Here we have the graph editor so this is used to adjust the velocity, the release, the mod X and so on and so forth. And then here we have the piano roll overview so this is used to quickly assess the piano roll from the channel rack. Here we have the step sequencer. This is where you add your note and then make your pattern. To add a note, just left click and then to delete a note, just right click. Now let's talk about some of these controls here. So here you can adjust the volume and the panning of each individual sample or instrument with the volume and the pan knob here. And here you can mute and unmute each track. Here we have the channel button, so this is used to preview the name of the sample or the instrument. And then next to it we have the track selector, so you can use this to select one or multiple channels to either organize them, color them and delete them. So one cool thing about the channel rack is that from here you can send your tracks into the mixer where you can add effects to them. So to do that just go to the mixer track routing boss and then send the sample into your preferred mixer track. So I hope you got value from this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.